Yo, what's going on, y'all? It's Combo Breaker 99. I am back with another post fight analysis video. All right, y'all. Luana Pinero versus Sam Hughes. All right, y'all. So, you know, I already did a poll on my community tab. You know, some people thought, oh, well, what fight were you watching if you thought Sam Hughes won this fight or even won a round? But clearly, you weren't watching the second round and you weren't watching the third round if you thought Sam Hughes was just clearly dominated and you thought this fight was 30 27. I don't know what fight you were watching, any of y'all, but I keep the same energy. When it comes to close fights, you know, I, w I won't lie. If I see some little moments in there, I can tell you the truth. OK, I can see how that fighter um, let it slip away. But I can also see this. And that's what I do. I, I try to break these fights down and tell you why certain fighters lose or, you know, if they don't pull the trigger, this is why they're going to lose. You know, I keep that same energy with these fights, You know, not just because I picked Sam Hughes in this fight, but I think Sam Hughes, she did enough to win the fight. At the same time, I can see where Luana Pinera won the fight. So to me. In no way was this fight 30-27. I thought it was a split decision for either Sam or Luana Pinheiro. If, if Sam had got it, you know, you can't argue and try to say it was a robbery. You know, because I thought Sam Hughes did enough to control the second round, and the, the third round was clearly hers. Of course, the first round was clearly Luana Pinheiro's. You know, she dominated with her takedowns and her judo. But when it came down to the second round, I thought that Luana Pinheiro was just not active enough. She was letting Sam Hughes control her in that second round with the pressure and the more significant strikes. Now, granted, she scored that knockdown, but that was like in the last 15 seconds of the round. But to me, Sam Hughes was landing a lot of singles. Yes, she needed to throw more, but I thought she won that second round and clearly won the third round, you know, when she put the pressure on. Luana Pinheiro didn't throw enough. Uh, she started getting hit to the body a little bit and didn't like that. So uh, she just kind of went on her bite throughout the fight. And that's one thing I want to talk about as far as uh, Luana Pinheiro striking too. You know, why I don't why I don't think it's too impressive as of right now in her career. But uh, real quick, going back and looking at the fight, Sam Hughes, you know, she was the taller fighter in this one. She was trying to control the center of the octagon and, it, you know, trying to attack low to start. You know, she was attacking the lead leg and, you know, trying to go up to the body here, which was smart. You know, she was trying to keep uh, Pinheiro on the outside and just control the center. You know, uh, to me, Pinheiro's movement doesn't look steady. You know, she's always moving like she doesn't really know how to set her feet yet. You know, she likes to throw her strikes on the fly and then flurry in and step out way out of range. But um, that's not really being effective to me. You know what I mean? Like, I think Sam Hughes, she had the better stance and the better technique. That's why I just wanted to see her pull that trigger. You know, Hughes, she was going to the legs, which was a good idea, but she just needed to keep it coming. You know, she needed to throw maybe like an alternate uh, leg kick, you know, outside calf, inside calf, and then go up to the with the jab or throw one twos and then end it with a leg kick because the leg kicks were there she established that you know Pinero, she was stepping in more trying to commit the combinations and use these flurries you know so that's a good time to counter but when sam didn't throw Pinero, she was able to step in throw this flurry land a hard right hand and as hughes left in uh leaned in she tried to lean in and i think she was going for a clinch Pinero, she got the judo toss and i expected that you know Pinero is a judoka that's what she's going to do. If you give her the body, she'll take it. So she got the judo toss, got in the guard where she wanted to be. She kept Sam Hughes down for the majority of the round, you know, went back for another takedown after a guillotine attempt and just uh, was using her wrestling here. You know, and this is the style that she wanted. At a distance in the last minute, though, when it got back up, Hughes, she started to touch the body again with her kicks, but still throwing a lot of singles and no combinations. Um, the second round, now this round, here, let me tell you, it was close. It was close. And I know why people think Pinero could win it. But I think that Hughes, she did enough to control the majority of the minutes here. You know, Hughes, she started off applying more pressure, missing a lot of kicks, but she was keeping Pinero on the back foot because Pinero, she doesn't like pressure. And that's why I said last, not last night, but Friday night, putting pressure on Luana Pinero was smart because she likes to, she likes to dictate the pace. She likes to either move around because she wants to, or she wants to back you up with barrages and then go in for that judo toss. You know what I mean? Like she doesn't like pressure. And that's what Randall Marcos was able to do in that first round kind of dogger. So here Hughes, you know, she's putting the pressure on. And when Hughes landed the low kick, you know, I was like, oh, you got to throw more. You got to throw more. Corner talk. You got to throw more. You know, she did well deflecting a lot of Pinero's combinations uh, back in, um, you know, as she backed up and then she would go right back to controlling. Hughes just needed more work. You know, the single jabs were nice. And then she, I think it was like the first round, too, she landed a good left hook. But, um, you know, these shots were moving Pinero. So I was just like, just add add some more into it. You know, just add some more in. You know, just add a nice right hand, and that would have made the difference. But Hughes, she did well fighting off Pinero, you know, as far as a clinch this time. You know, a couple clinches. Um, she went back to the pressure with combinations. Um, the majority of the round, 
I thought Hughes was landing, you know, like I said, leg kicks, significant strikes. It wasn't until like the 15 second mark. That's when uh, Pinero scored that knockdown. But again, my question is, was that enough? You know, is that enough just to say, oh, this person won the round off a knockdown, especially when the knockdown is not scored like in boxing, right? Um, last round, Hughes had it pretty much. It was a better round, in my opinion. I think she needed to finish just to secure the W in these situations. Uh, Pinero, she let another flurry go in the opening, but Hughes just needed to put those strikes together. You know, uh, after the after the flurry from Pinero, Sam Hughes, you know, went back to controlling, but she needed to pull that trigger. She just needed to pull that trigger because Pinero, she uses a lot of movement, but she's not that effective here. You know, she's just moving a lot. So if you cut her off, you can go to her body, then go upstairs to the head. You know, Hughes, she's sticking out some good singles again, but again, it's like her corner said, you know, put it together, add in some more. Um, Pinero's flurries, they're sloppy. They can be avoided. That was That's what I got from this fight. You know, they could have been avoided. Hughes, I think she just controlled this round with, as far as even in the clinch um, and just landing a lot of singles, you know, just landing a lot of singles. You know, Pinero ate a hard body kick towards the end of this round. And you could tell it. You could tell she didn't like that because she was already gassing. And then when she ate that body kick towards the end, she got hit with, the, I think it was like a left hook or right hand that kind of rattled her and put her to the cage but um it was it was pretty much a the third round was more like a, a good feeling out round it was more like a first round as well like neither fighter really amped it up or stepped it up here but like i said i think hughes she did enough to edge it but either way it could have gone a split decision to somebody like luana pinera i could see where you see her win but i saw sam hughes controlling uh the second and third round because to me luana pinera she likes to steal rounds you know like she did in the first round she well, not, she secured the first round, but like she did in the second and third round, she'll try to find moments when she knows she's behind to go in and flurry and try to land that power because she does have power. Luana Pinero has power. She'll try to land some power shots and then go in for that judo toss to control the round. You know, she'll try to fight in spurts. Like she doesn't fight at a good pace. She'll just find that spurt to try to steal a round. So that's what I kind of got from the second round with uh, Luana Pinero. To me, I thought it was a Sam Hughes fight. Um, but again, Luana Pinero winning. Uh, 29 28 that's fair you know as a split decision though <laughs> you know um first i do have to say luana pinero i'm still not like really really like blown away or impressed like 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 this was Lu lupita ganitez or something you know i think lupita ganitez she has better use of her tools in her wrestling and her striking i just think that luana pinero um her movement's a little too much you know she goes on a bite too much she uses her legs way too much she just needs to use more angles and more uh controlled movement you know she does a lot of unnecessary movement and never just sit still will we'll sit still you know she needs to be to me more of a pressure fighter because she has a good overhand right she has power and she has her judo on her side you know so she'd be more effective with that um but the one thing i said the more she climbs up this ladder uh that movement's not going to help her you know she's open those leg kicks and her defense is not very good you know for somebody that moves around a lot she still gets hit a lot too so you know i think the more she moves up this ladder she's gonna have to start polishing those those things up um as for sam hughes i just think she has to pull the trigger you know i think that you know for short notice uh she did you know she did well in that third round but can't be that tentative you know in this ufc level you have to go in there and let it go shout out to sam you know i'm a fan you know we talk you know this is just real talk for me i think you know sam hughes she has better technique than Luana Pinero, but you have to execute. You know, I think she just um, needs to be around more um, uh, confident strikers. You know, even like J.J. Aldridge or like Rose Namajunas, those those type of fighters could probably bring out that, uh, bring out the best striking in her. You know, she has good pressure. She just needs to let it go. You know, she just needs to let it go. Because uh, I've seen it in LFA, you know, she had it there. But on this level here, I think it was here. I think it was here. It's just a matter of um, letting it go like a corner set. But uh, yeah, um, decent fight, you know, just a lot of work from both fighters needs, uh, that needs to be done from here. But like I said, that's how I saw it. If you saw it 30-27 for Luana Pena, I don't know what fight you were watching, but that's what I had. That's all I got on this one, guys. I got to get on to the next one, Combo Breaker 99. I'm out. Subscribe, peace.